All right, let's do something a little different today. Today we're going to spectate some Apex Trios. Uh, it is 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday. So I don't see there being that many sweats, but I'm really kind of curious just to see who we run into. So hopefully we get put into a game here. Find out uh, just how crazy it is. Something different about spectating a game and watching how players play compared to how I think I would play it or play the situation. So it should be really interesting. And yes, this is on my main account, so yes, I'm going to tank my own main account stats. But I don't really care. I've never really been one to care about stats. So we're going to see. I went no fill, so I don't ruin anyone's game. I am going to first definitely just try to engage somebody. I'm not going to just jump off the map. That's just stupid. I'm going to just jump off the map. Nah, man. Here... We get a gun, we go to the first engagement, we probably die, and then we watch whoever uh, whoever kills us. That's how we do spectating around here on this channel, alright? I don't want to hear nothing of it. I don't want to hear nothing, no differences. We're going to hot drop uh, right into wherever some people are going. You know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to look. We're going right to, right to labs. Uh, right next to a Predator and Master Squad. Sounds great. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Predator Master Squad. First ones we're going to engage with. This ought to be a good game. Got an RE45 and some sniper ammo, so, uh... We're already on it, dude. Like, we're already, uh... We're already ready to kick their ass. Oh, look at that. And we got a sniper. See? It was meant to be. I mean, I could grab this Eva 8, but... Nah, we're gonna go in. Screw it. Look at this. See, he's already pushing me. Because he thinks he's that good. Oh, God. Okay, he was... He was, uh... He was that good. Alright. Let's, let's take a look at the death recap. Predator. Okay. Uh, Predator. Uh... 4k badge, 20 bomb, 2,000 kills, 3,000 focus attention, and 595,000 damage. Jesus, Mr. Quenchy 9000. Alright, here we go, boys. Boys and girls, we're gonna watch Quenchy 9000. What's that? Like, quiche. I mean, it could be quiche. I... I, I don't know how to read. Uh... <laughs> Then we got Rezok, the Grenade, uh, the Grenade, Jesus, dude, the Octane, I know what I'm talking about, I swear, and then, uh, Hippo, Hippo Potato Pleb, uh, all, let's see their banners here, uh, this guy, not so much, gold, 454 kills, you know, suicide badge, awareness badge, that's cool, I like it. Uh, this guy, no data whatsoever, but he had himself a master's trail, and then this guy was the predator that killed us. So let's, uh, let's see how they engage this battle. Looks like they're pushing this first squad here. Straight across the way. Uh, they're not gonna take zipline. At least, uh, Keish is not taking zipline here. They're actually all going to push the ramp instead of the zipline. I probably would've been stupid and just gone straight across the zipline. In this situation, I probably would've just hard pushed the zipline. Okay, looks like he got one on the, uh, thing. He knows his teammates are gonna handle it, so he's gonna hit this little Loba ultimate here. Get himself some better weapons. Oh, getting charge rifled in the back. He's popping that battery. I don't know, decided not to pop the battery. Decided to push up with his teammate instead. Okay, now he's gonna pop the bat. Staying very close to his team here. Picked himself up an R301. Great weapon to start with. Ooh, got a bubble push from his teammate. Ooh, bubble push with a Mastiff or a PK. Oh, it was a PK. So, that's scary, eh? Gibby with a PK up close in your face. It's pretty scary. Oh, they're getting pushed here. Another uh, shotgun battle. His teammates are getting in the way. Can't get his shots. He's got a Devotion. It's a Watson with a Devotion. Oh, got down. Got the grenade. Oh, no. Oh, and that whole squad gets wiped by a grenade and a push from both sides. They ended up getting squished and sandwiched in between. Not a good situation. Now this looks like we're on the opposite team. Of the people that killed them, so they're gonna try to push the team that just killed the people we were spectating. A lot of Sears here. Which is okay, I mean, Sears is a good, good visual and uh, 
knowledge character to have. I mean, you get a lot of information playing that point here. Ooh, hitting those RE45 shots. Going for the nade. Mr. Per 3. Per, per Hell, I'm guessing is what his uh, name is. Ooh, his lifeline getting a little shredded out there just standing out in the open. Ooh, lifeline going down. I just know it. Yep, lifeline went underneath and got downed. Yep, team underneath, team on the bridge. This is the team that annihilated our master squad. He's, uh, wow, he's opting for the res here. He knows that squad's down there. There's someone on the bridge that can push him, though. Okay, person on the bridge didn't push. He's, uh, he's taking this challenge, and I don't know if it's a good idea. Went for the armor swap. Not much armor there. Shooting that 45. Oh, got Valk, Valk tacked from up above. Yeah, the team up above. You guys are in between multiple squads here. I don't see this being a good push in any way. You're going to get pinched as well. In this situation, I probably would be screwed. I'd be the team that you know, got pushed in between. Oh, shot a decoy. Got the banner. Are they going to dip? I mean, you got Banner. Yeah, I was going to say, you got Banner, get disengaged. Smart choice. Oh, you got Scan, though. This team above you knows you're here. Oh, he's getting wingman. Ooh, landing those RE45 shots, though. Not bad, not bad. Then coming down. Oh, okay, team shots, team shots. Love to see it. Okay, they're both going to push, I think, is the Bloodhound. He's looking for energy ammo. Yeah, it's a Bloodhound. No, no, that might be the lifeline. But the Bloodhound did scan them, so there's a Bloodhound close by. Oh, landing those G7 shots. Deleting, kids. Playing is smart, playing is slow, healing, peeking out when necessary. Uh, trying to stick together, that's very smart. I like the team coordination here. Sticking together, deciding if they need to disengage uh, on the situation. It does look like they may try to disengage here. Uh, another team I don't think is going to allow them to disengage very often. Trading out the G7 for the bow, I don't know if I would have gone with that situation. Depends on how good you are with the bow, I guess. I don't know though, that G7 melts. Uh, lifeline up the high ground. Got one cracked. She came in with the shoddy. You got one behind you there, dude. Yep, one behind you there to the left. Yep, you are dead. Yep. Gave up the high ground and went for the push. So, kind of how that happens. Toxic Astris. So we're with now. I think this is the original team that wiped out our Master Pred squad. Uh, which I'm guessing is probably a smurf or they got super lucky. There's no way a level 3 is in these lobbies. So my guess is definite smurf. Um, let's see what we got here. Mr. Smiles. Uh, nice little Wraith main. Got herself the Kunai. Got some Halloween skins going here. Console player, by the way. Uh, got herself a nice, I think that's the 2.5 damage, 2.5k or 2,000 damage, something like that uh, badge. Team badge there, a little cool, I like it, I like it. And of course, Armor Raj, another console player. So you got two console players and a PC player, it's probably a 3 stack. The PC player's probably just smurfing with his uh, console buddies. Hanging out with them, you know, playing, having some fun, getting some games in. Raj looks like he's really engaged here, he's got a charge rifle. Another team to the left there. Interesting. Let's see how this uh, possible Smurf Pathfinder plays. I mean, I couldn't land 301 shots either some days. Not gonna, not gonna judge the man on his shots. I definitely have some bad shots. I am gonna judge you on the grapple that just flew you right into the container. I mean, come on. Yeah, you guys know you got the team to the left there. And the team here to his right. Choosing to opt to head towards the left and labs. Probably try to push that team. I don't think they want to push in and get sandwiched between these teams. Looks like team to the left is pushed more forward, so they're going to come peek and check this out. At least Pathfinder's going to look. Raj is saying, nah, we got to go this way. Pathfinder's thinking, nah, I want in on this. This would be me. I wouldn't take the smart play around. I'd be like, nah, I want in on this. That's quite a few shots here, buddy. That's quite a few shots at that 301 three times sight. Although, I, you know, a lot of people opt to like the three times sight on the 301. I don't. Um, preferably, I like either the iron sights or a bruiser uh, on my 301 if I'm running it. I don't know. What's your guys' favorite sights for uh, your guns? What's your favorite guns? Let me know in the comments below. Taking these 
Staying up on the high ground is smart. I don't know who dropped. It looks like uh, Mirage. Oh, it looks like his other teammate dropped too, though. So maybe this is just a random PC player, and maybe they're not a three stack. Because those two are definitely probably playing together, console players. They're down in the action. I mean, they went down into it. So you got Mirage and Wraith down here in the action with a Bangalore ult. She's going to try to phase out of it. It's like uh, our Pathfinder's getting a little shredded. He did finally decide to drop with his team. I don't know if it was a smart decision to follow the team. Kind of gave yourself low ground and you're in the middle of all these squads. Uh, in this situation, I may have wanted to just stay up top and poke shots. Especially around labs. You gotta remember everybody likes to, uh, likes to sit up here on the higher part of labs. So, you yeah, guys gotta remember that. People do like to stay up top. Yeah, you can see the shots coming down from the top. Oh, just shredded that kid. Okay. Alright, alright. I see you. Other two are still in on it. This guy's getting dropped on by Bangalore. Oh, absolutely deletes the Bangalore. Got to back up and heal here, though. You know, his other teams, that other team of the Bangalore's teammates are coming, though. So he's got to heal up and decide what he's doing. He did get scanned. They know he's in there, and they know he's alone. Which is not a good situation to be in. But he's going to take the time to slow heal. Does not look like they're pushing. The other teammates... Starting to come his way. Looks like they were trying to poke at the kids that were up top. Wraith, you gonna try to go up top? Oh, nope. Yep, right there. Teammates of that Bangalore. Mirage popping the ult. Going in with some decoys. A little lifeline. Oh, lifeline just popping and peeking shots. Came in with the Mastiff. Playing the peaky corners. Oh, and there goes, uh... There goes Pathfinder as well. Wraith out here with a wingman. Landing wingman shots. Getting pushed, though. Oh, just trying to portal him out. Couldn't portal him out. He went for the thirst. Knows there's people above him. I'm trying to pop this Phoenix while watching through the window. This is a really good play in the vents. You can stand back here and you can look through the windows and see if they're pushing you. It gives yourself time to uh, to react to if they're coming at you. One, one teammate did get through. Looks like we're going to try for the res here. Like we're trying for the res. Got the res off. Came through the portal. Hit some with the R9 shots. Oh, couldn't get the wingman out. Oh. Squad is down. Another one bites the dust. Oh, now we're on the other end of the map with Toxic Flash. We went from all that action over here in Hammond all the way to Dox. This team is just set up in the ring. This team is just holding ring. Playing zone. They probably know... Where zone is going to end because they got this bloodhound here. So they've probably just been chilling. I mean, I'm, I don't see any kills on any of these guys. No damage. So yeah, this team either just landed here and hasn't moved. Or they've played zone. And have played the beacons. And must know zone's going to land over here. Ooh, let's see what we should get out of this care baggage with the wraith. Anything good? Anything good? Eh, kind of crap care baggage. Not going to lie. Bloodhound running around over here. Looking for... Ammo played with Marv here. Let's see what he gets. It's a decent Marv roll if you need it. Loba's got all the loot in the world, though. You know Loba's in looting. Another console player, Loba. Got into a, a pretty good console lobby here, it looks like. You know, 85, not bad. She's got three kills total with Loba on console. Not much more to show there. Wraith here, PC player. Uh, 88 on the battle pass. Don't know her actual level. About 158 kills. 157 of them came from season 10. So, brand new Wraith main. You know, getting in on it. Trying to do a wall jump. Failed. There you go. Hit that wall jump. That a girl. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, let's see our, uh, our Bloodhound here. Our Bloodhound's got a Sentinel. So he's got a little nice damage badge. Got some good kills. I like this banner card. This banner card looks nice. Now let me uh, let me move this camera here. Just hide this camera. You can check that. Uh, you can check that banner card out. I kind of like that one. He's got a nice and setup. It looks very very clean. Very very clean. I do I do like that actually a lot. All right, let's see how this team does. Like I said, I think they're just playing zone. They must know zone ends over here, and they're just chilling with it. Of course, this is the team we end up on after all of that action. You know, 
first engage with a ma uh, master predator squad and now we get this <laughs> uh, teams playing zone and they may be good who knows they could be really really good players but they're just really going for the win they're not here for a bunch of kills looks like this team's really gonna try for the win uh interesting team setup too you got wraith bangalore or, or bangalore <laughs> yeah wraith bloodhound and loba so that's an interesting little combination not a big fan of loba i love that she can get us tons and tons of ammo but just overall not a big fan i haven't played with many good lobas so not a not a big fan of loba on my team or even playing her myself I just I just don't like her that much because this is what they do 99.9% .9 of the time they just constantly throw up their ultimate constantly look around for loot and see what they can pick up all these guys are running this 2 by 4 site except for this guy here it's pretty interesting not many people I see run the uh, the 2 by 4 not loof not Luffy zoom back and toxic flash Trying for the super long engagement against a charge rifle. They're not a good choice. Choosing a long engagement with the uh, with the charge rifle when you got a 301 is not a good challenge. I think she learned that. She kind of kind of stopped. Went back inside. Said, you know what? No, nah, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm not. I'm not. Not peeking that. Looks like the other team's kind of just keeping an eye on them though. They know they gotta move. Uh, this team's gotta move too. The ones are watching, but. I know this team in uh, Fight Night over here is going to have to move. Yeah, so they're going to try to peek him and engage him. Looks like teammate... Does teammate have a charge rifle? No, it's an L-Star. Other team has a charge rifle. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Looks like they're holding up here. Closed door here. This dude's sense on his uh, controller is pretty fast. Looks like he knows how to handle it, though. Console players, gotta love them. See how they engage, let's see how it works. Target spotted. Hmm, potentially a team behind them? That's what uh, Wraith's saying. Wraith's saying there's a team behind them here. And they just got scanned by the Bloodhound. I think this Bloodhound is that team that uh, wiped out the other one that was in uh, Hammond over there. I think they're pushing in. Ooh! Woo! Get him with the L-Star. Okay, okay. L-Star's a nasty weapon, man. It's so broken. There's like no recoil, other than its bullet velocity being slow. Right, the actual bullets themselves is like the, one of the slowest bullet velocities in the game. And they're huge, huge targets. Other than that, the L-Star is just stupid. Stupid good, man. It's got like no recoil, and then they, put, then they started putting stabilizers on them, stocks magazines oh my god so if you can you could not use the l-star that would be cool okay guys let's let's all make a community uh you know together to not use the l-star that'd be great we'd be okay with that okay zone's coming in let's see if they try to choose where to go seems like they still got this team over here yeah i was gonna say team over to the right there Choosing to flank down low ground to the left. This team was already on the high ground to the right. Trying to pop some shots. Wraith's kind of keeping her eye out. This is see, this is good for a team to do. A couple of people engage in one squad and keep their eyes out. Other person looks around and tries to keep an eye out for the other squads that may potentially push them. You never want your team all looking one direction. We learned that the hard way. Oh my god. Most of us, the boys, when we're sitting there playing, we made the mistake, all of us looking one way, focused on one squad all the time. And we would get flanked left and right, man. Somebody would sneak up behind us. Uh, we just wouldn't know our surroundings, right? We wouldn't know what's going on around us. So it's really cool to see this Wraith kind of keeping her eye out while her teammates are engaged in uh, in other things. So now they're, they're noticing that, yep, that team's over there to the right. Wraith's like, okay, cool. I know they're there. I'll keep an eye on them. It's like the other two are kind of keeping their eye out too. Ooh, this guy's got a sniper. Let's see what he's eyeing. All right, Bloodhound. Let's see these shots. Come on, he's right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, he could have gotten the headshot. Look at her. She's just sitting there. Yeah, get the headshot. Got the down. Let's go. 
Let's go. Come on. I mean, they're probably going to get a res up there, but you've kind of griefed their game a little bit. Don't get too excited that you down somebody. Like I said, they're going to they're gonna pop a res. I wouldn't worry about it too much. There you go. You've kind of just griefed their game a little bit. It's not too bad. Love us thinking, you know, the storm's coming in here in 12 seconds. Gotta get moving. Oh, he's trying to heal up. This this other squad's looking at him here. This this squad right here is in the best position. Uh, for what they're doing, but I mean, Wraith, Wraith, you got the portal, man. Just gonna try to port in here. Porting in, you got your back exposed to the team that's up top. But you're, ooh, she's shredding with the L-Star. Okay. Other two are engaged here. Oh, 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 delete him, delete him. Get in there, get in there, he's cracked. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hit that jump pad, try to get, you know, somewhat to safety. Not that's gonna matter much. Getting shot out of midair here, Bloodhound. Oh, you're right next to the other team, Bloodhound, no. All right, Lobo, what are you gonna do, babe? What are you gonna do here? Get the kid that's sitting in storm. Oh, done for, done for. Absolutely done for. Yeah, they were kind of screwed on their push there, exposing their back to the other squad. Looks like somebody got Krabered, so this other team has a Kraber. That Octane got deleted. She's waiting for him to crawl back. This is a lifeline. Could get a lifeline res here. There you go. Get that lifeline res. This team doesn't seem like they want to push it. It's the one thing I hate about lifelines, man. You down somebody in the distance, if they have a lifeline on the team, if you can't get there fast enough, that lifeline res comes in clutch. This team is spread out, it seems like. You got one up above them here that they seem to be looking at. And then, of course, the other two that were on the way. And somebody has a Kraber. <laughs> so you can tell they all don't want to peek because of that Kraber. Man, dude, you just don't you just don't peek a Kraber. It doesn't matter how bad the player is, you don't peek a Kraber. Because if they get that lucky shot, game is done and over with, man. You are done for. So, it's definitely how that stays. Smart play. They're going to pop the heat shield and try to use this jump pad. They're gonna go for it and hit this jump pad here. Launch themselves. Oh no! Octane fell off the map, bro! Oh no, he went in the hole. Now it's a probably 2v3 here. Got a Watson ult set up too. I mean, you can use this Watson ult to your advantage. Oh, he downed one of the wingman. Okay. Probably 2v2? 2v2 situation. This guy looks like he's by himself. Push in there. Yes! Okay, good. 2v1. Come on, Gold Bacon. I believe in you, Gold Bacon. I believe in you. But not a 2v1. There was another squad. Little rat hiding down here. I was not paying attention to the, uh, the, the counts here. This lifeline pushing hard. That Wraith got the res. Lifeline, you are weak AF, dude. Popping a shield bat. I want to drop my drone and then pop a shield bat. That's your own teammate. This guy is up on height. Oh, these two are up on height. Not ideal, not ideal. They are in the probably one of the better positions. I mean, it does look like they may have to drop here shortly. But they can play this smart and wait for them to drop. Try not to get down. Don't peek them. Oh god, don't peek. Just just try to wait for them to drop. Get that get that extra stun when they drop. So when he hits the ground, he's got that delay. Yep, there you go, there you go. There you go. You're one HP. One HP lifeline. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, gold bacon! I feel it, I feel it. Good shit to this team. Played it very smart near the end. It, you know that when they when they drop, everybody has that stun. Unless they're horizon with that passive, they got that stun. So when they drop, that little bit of extra time it takes to pull up their weapon, got that extra shot in on them. Good on them. GG's, my guys. What a good game. Wow. I mean, not me, but... Good game to watch. That's pretty, pretty incredible. Can't believe my master's predator squad that I started engaged with just got wiped that fast. This just happens to anybody. It doesn't really matter your rank. That was awesome.